So now let's see how we can work around with the audio channel settings inside of CapCut Desktop Editor. So let's just go around and bring in this video clip right here. And if I were to press the play button on my playlist, so you want, you want to learn more about Canva, you can check it out. So what is happening is that uh, you can hear out more of the volume of uh, my voice from one side of the speaker than the rest. So what I can do for this is I can go around onto audio and enable channels. And right now it's set to none. So what I can do is if I were to go around and fill the right with left means it'll copy out the volume from the right channel and the audio from the right channel and then we'll simply place paste it out to the left right here. So it is more balanced and it is very useful for uh, um, uh, for videos like these where you have audio only. So if I were to press the play button. But Canva is more like a basic software. So then what happens is that it copied out the left channel and filled it out with the right so that the voice uh, seems to come more from the center. But let's do the opposite right here. Fill the left with right. So you can uh, make the uh, do things. So it, it does exactly the same. So instead of having one level of volume from the left channel more than the right channel and so uh, and vice versa, you can simply copy out the left channel and the right channel right here. So if I were to disable this very, very quickly, but if you want more, then um, uh, the voice seems to be coming more from one channel um, uh, than the rest. But if I would turn this uh, out, more control than you might, then it seems that it's coming from the center right here, which is very useful for uh, uh, videos with voices like this. So that is how you can work around with the audio channel settings inside of CapCut Desktop Editor. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.